Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. Market structure and liquidity areas are two inseparable concepts in smart money. Many liquidity areas find meaning through market structure, and many market structure levels become meaningless with liquidity concepts. In this video, first, we're going to talk about identifying the key liquidity areas on the chart and how to effectively use them, and second, we're going to explain how we combine liquidity with market structure concepts. So guys, if that's something you're interested in, hit the like button to show your support and subscribe to our channel if you're new since we share advanced trading knowledge. See you after the intro and disclaimer. Let's start with the definition first. What is liquidity? When smart money wants to buy a currency pair, they will need sellers in the market. The existing facility to place these positions is called liquidity. Liquidity is essentially determined by the placement of stop losses. Where stop losses are positioned, liquidity is found. Smart money relies on triggering stop losses to strategically enter the market. This allows them to establish their positions effectively. We have many types of liquidity in the market. The first type is equal highs and lows. As the name suggests, the price will form equal lows where the low points are about the same level. Similarly, the price will form equal highs where the highs are about the same level. Now, what does this signify in terms of price action? The double or triple bottoms that are created on the chart are great places to look for trading opportunities for many retail traders. They expect a rejection to the upside once the price taps into this area again. So, they enter long positions at these levels and place their stop losses somewhere below this area. As we mentioned, smart money aims to trigger the stop losses. Therefore, you want to enter the market after the liquidity has been collected. If a demand area exists below the equal lows, there is a high chance for the price to break below these equal lows, sweep the liquidity, and continue pushing higher. So basically, this is one of our trading patterns in the smart money concepts. Waiting for the price to collect the retail trader's stop losses and then entering the market at the demand area. The same scenario happens in a bearish market as well. When the price taps into the resistance area, retail traders go short as they expect a rejection towards the downside. Their stop losses will be somewhere above this zone. So, a lot of liquidity is gathered above this area. If smart money wants to sell this pair, the conditions are ready to push the price above this resistance area to grab the liquidity and then push the price towards the original bearish direction. As a smart money trader, we enter the position after the stop losses have been swept. Now let's see some real chart examples. Here on the gold 30 minutes chart, we have a clear uptrend. We have a recent level of support which has been rejected by the market multiple times. When the price approaches this level, many traders will go long, anticipating another rejection. On the other hand, traders who previously entered long positions here will support their positions. So, this area is considered a key liquidity level, and stop losses are gathered somewhere below this area. Now the question is, where can be a point of interest to enter the market as a smart money trader? If we look to the left-hand side, we can notice this area of fair value gap, which is an extreme demand zone. If we consider the start and end of the latest impulsive move and apply a Fibonacci retracement tool, we can see that the FVG is located inside the discount side of the range. So this presents a perfect trading opportunity to open a buy limit order at this zone and set our stop loss below the swing low. In this case, the price has swept the liquidity, rejected the FVG zone immediately, and pushed higher as we expected. But as you trade live in the markets, undoubtedly you will witness many losing and missing trades as well. But this is why it is so important to follow the rules of your trading setup and risk management plan to survive and capitalize on winning opportunities. Remember, trading is all about the future, and the nature of the future is unpredictable. Here on the Euro dollar 15 minute chart, we have a strong moving uptrend. The latest impulsive move has created this area of equal lows, which will act as support when the price taps into this zone again. So, below these equal lows contains lots of liquidity. If we look to the left hand side, we will notice this area of fair value gap, which will also act as a strong demand area right below the liquidity zone. So, a perfect trading idea would be to wait for the price to break below the equal low, 
grab the liquidity, and then we can go long in the FVG zone. This way, as a smart money trader, we will enter the market after the stop losses have been swept. But you might say, isn't breaking below this area considered a change of character and a shift in the market direction? The answer is yes. Normally, it would be considered a change of character, which shows that we are no longer bullish. However, in this particular scenario, the change of character is invalid. This is what we meant earlier when we said many market structure levels become meaningless with liquidity concepts, which is why liquidity and market structure are inseparable concepts in smart money trading. In the next part of this video, we are going to talk about the market structure concepts and how to combine them with liquidity to obtain a deeper understanding of price movements. But before we continue, if you are looking for a reliable crypto platform to trade and invest in crypto coins, consider registering with one of the largest cryptocurrency exchange platforms, Bybit. Once you've created your account, navigate to the market overview on the homepage. Here, you can access the list of cryptocurrencies available on Bybit. If you click on Trade, a page opens that allows you to access the price chart and trading tools to analyze the current technical situation of the market. You can also place buy and sell orders directly from this page and search for any cryptocurrency you want from the top left corner. So if you'd like to receive a $30 bonus on your initial $100 deposit, simply sign up to Bybit through the link in the description. Now let's continue with the second part of this video, which is combining market structure concepts with liquidity. When we talk about market structure, we refer to swing highs and swing lows, price movements, and the areas that the market has reacted to earlier. We consider all these items as part of the market structure, and they are the skeletons of the movement. Now let me show you some basic concepts about market structure in the smart money trading plan. As you know, in an ideal uptrend, the market continuously makes higher highs and higher lows. Every time the market breaks a higher high to the upside, we call that a break of structure, and it indicates that the market wants to continue in the same bullish direction. On the other hand, if the market breaks a higher low to the downside, we call that a change of character, signaling a possible trend change. However, the market rarely moves this clearly. So here, let's identify the valid change of characters. In order to do that first, we must identify our swing lows. In the bullish scenario, the lowest point between two consecutive highs is identified as a swing low. Here we have two consecutive highs, so the lowest point between these two is our swing low. As long as the price stays above this level, it represents a bullish market, and we will only look for buying opportunities. And for a valid change of character, we need to see a candle break and close below this level. Here we have another break of the structure caused by this move. So once again, the lowest point of two consecutive highs is identified as the swing low. Another two consecutive highs and a swing low we have. Keep in mind that the same concept applies to the bearish scenario. Now here comes a question. When can we confidently say that a change of character will reverse the trend? To answer this question, you need to understand the factual nature of the market. Imagine we have an obvious uptrend on the 4-hour time frame with a series of impulsive and corrective moves. The market continuously makes new higher highs and respects the higher lows. If you zoom into the one hour time frame, you will notice that this four hour impulse wave consists of impulsive and corrective moves that respect the higher lows in the perfect scenario. However, in the imperfect scenario, the price will create fake breakouts before pushing to the upside to develop higher highs. When most traders see these fake breakouts, they assume that the price will reverse and they go short in the supply zone, only to get stopped out. So, if you have in-depth knowledge of market structure, you will realize that since the higher time frame is in an obvious uptrend, you will avoid this move here, and instead you will find a demand zone and go with the dominant uptrend. Here is an important point. The best trade areas are where the lower time frame and the higher time frame trends are in the same direction. Here on the euro dollar 1 minute chart, these are the impulsive and corrective moves that we see. But if we zoom out to the five minute chart, we only see these ones. So in the areas where the one minute and five minute charts are in the same direction, trading will make more sense. Now that we've explained some of the basic concepts about market structure, let's move on to the advanced phase. But before we continue, if you have enjoyed this video so far, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.
as it goes a long way to support us in making more videos like this. Also, always remember that risk management and backtesting are key factors in defining a trader's success. Now, there are some cases where the liquidity concept weakens the strength of market structure levels. For example, here could be the latest market structure schematic, pointing out higher highs and higher lows. Normally, if the price breaks and trades below this higher low, we would interpret it as a change of character and expect a shift in the market direction. But looking at the left side, we can identify this area of fair value gap, which is considered an institutional demand area. So this presents a great opportunity for smart money to grab the liquidity below this swing low, and then the market will push higher in the original bullish direction. In that case, we will witness an imperfect uptrend, which will confuse many traders who miss the liquidity sweep concept. You can avoid these kinds of trades by simply applying the SMC concepts to the latest movements and creating a checklist for your trading setup. This checklist will contain some of the most basic smart money concepts like drawing the latest schematic, identifying fair value gaps, equal highs and lows as liquidity areas, supply and demand zones, and potential trading opportunities. There are many liquidity zones, such as trend lines, consolidation areas, even major moving averages, etc. But we mainly pay attention to equal highs and lows. We want to keep things as simple as possible and be able to use this concept to our benefit. Combining liquidity and market structure concepts is not limited to this example. Order blocks can also be a victim of liquidity grab movements. Here we have a valid order block and a potential trading opportunity to go long. But looking at the left side, we can spot this gap between the candles precisely below the first order block and another valid order block zone here. Now, this gap will act as a magnet for the price to come and fill it, restore the balance, grab the liquidity below the first order block, and continue pushing upwards when it mitigates the second one. So, here are two points. First, before placing any trades, you should look at the left side to see what you have to avoid this kind of unnecessary risk. Second, when this pattern is formed and we have a gap and another valid order block precisely under the first one, we don't consider this break a valid change of character. Since there is a high chance for this move to be just a liquidity grab and does not necessarily mean a reversal is coming. So guys, I hope this video has some value for you. If it has, Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. See you in the next episode.